What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodeB.com and in this video, we're gonna style our login page for our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna style our login page, but before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeme.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions recently about this login page and styling it. So we're just using the basic Django authentication system to create this page. And it's just, you know, the default forms that aren't that great. Now we've styled a bunch of different things throughout this course, different forms using the authentication system that comes with Django, but we haven't looked at the login page and it's a little bit different. So let's sort of just walk through really quickly. Let's take a look at our code and walk through some of the other ones. Let's see, let's go to our members directory. This is where all, our, all of our authentication stuff is. And we've got our forms.py file here, and this is our profile page. Here's like the sign up form, right? We created this one, and we created a user creation form, and we did some stuff. And then in our views.py file, let's see, looking for our sign up thing, user register. We just designate the form for this view as the sign up form, that form we just looked at. And then we, we put it up on this web page, and then, you know, we're good to go. So that's how we've done it in the past, and, and that works, but this is a little bit different because we don't have a view for the, uh, the login page because the authentication system creates that, and we could make one, I guess, but we actually don't have to. So this one's actually really, really easy. This is only gonna take us a couple of minutes to do. And uh, it's, I don't wanna say it's a sort of a hacky way to do it, but it's sort of a quick and easy way to do it that may or may not be the best way to do it, but that's what we're gonna do because it's quick and easy and uh, it'll take care of this. So if we look at our templates directory in our registration folder inside of there, we can see we've already got a login page, right? So if we head back over our code, you know, we can click this login link it goes to our login page. Now, if we look back at our code and we look at our urls.py file, you can see we've got register, edit profile, password, password success, profile, edit profile, and create profile page. We don't have a URL for the login page, right? Which is another reason why this is a little bit different than the other ones. Well, I guess we could make one, but again, we don't have to. So uh, let's head back over to our login page, login.html. And actually what we can do here is just take out this form as P and then just sort of create our own bootstrapified form right here. You know, in the past when we used our models or when we used our forms.py file, we set up these widgets and then we gave them classes of form control. These are bootstrap classes. And this thing right here is what makes these guys bootstrapified. And we, we've done this in the past in this forms.py file. So now we're just sort of kind of going to do this on the page itself, but not using this format. We're just going to use basic HTML. So uh, let's head back over to our login.html file. And actually, let's head back over to the web browser and let's go to the getbootstrap.com web page. And we've seen this lots of times. This is the CSS framework we're using throughout this course. And if you come up here and click on documentation and then come down here to components, and then scroll down to forms. You can see these are the forms we're using and here's the form group and let's see, here's that form control that we've been using. So what we can do is just grab these right here. So right here we've got an email address input box and a password input box. And the thing that's interesting about this password in input box with Bootstrap is when we type things, it automatically changes them to little dots so that people can't see your password, which is what you want in a password. And the reason why it does that is because down here in the code, if we look, here's the password, we're setting the input type as password. So we can actually just copy these. And I think that's good. I'm gonna right click and copy. Before we do that though, let's come back over here and let's look at the source of this page. So let's view the page source and come down here and look for the form. And here it is. And look for the, each of these input boxes. So we've got 
username, which is the name of it is username. And we've got password. The name of it is password. We need to know those names because we're going to use those. So, all right, we'll just leave this here for now. Uh, let's head back over to our code uh, after you've copied this stuff. So we can come underneath our CSRF token and let's just paste all this in. So we need to change a few things. First, this label, let's change this to username. Or actually, let's get rid of the labels completely. So this input type is, we don't want this to be an email input type. We just want this to be text. So let's change that to text. And this class needs to be the same. We really don't need this ID either. And we really don't need this as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. And we don't need this little snippet about the email, not sharing it with everyone. So we'll get rid of that as well. And let's kind of make some sense out of this here. Okay, so that's one, we can get rid of the space here. There we go. And here's the other one, the password one. So again, we don't really need this label. I mean, you can keep them if you want, but we don't really need them. Uh, the class type password, we keep this. Class form control, we need to keep this. We really don't need this ID either. Okay. So we also, like I mentioned, we have to name these guys. So this one's going to be the username. So we can just go name equals username. And down here, we can go name equals password. And again, I got these two things from the page source that we just looked at right here these guys right here. So name equals password and name equals username right there and there. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. So all right, let's move this right along. And let's just save this and refresh just to see how this looks. And boom, we've now bootstrapified these things. We don't know what these are because we took rid of, we took out those labels. So maybe we can add back in either the labels or I kind of like placeholder text instead. So Let's come back over here and inside the box anywhere, we can just go place holder equals and we can type in username. And down here, we can go place holder equals and let's say password. So let's save this, come back here, hit reload. Now it says username and password. This button's right up against there. So maybe we want to move this down a little bit. Let's give this a line break. Save this. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. So now we can log in, see if this works. And when we do, it redirects back to the home page. As always, we can click our profile, show the profile. Yep, we're definitely logged in. And uh, that's all there is to it. Log out and log back in. We see this page again. Now again, this is, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a hacky sort of way to do it, but uh, quick and easy. And it's just the login page, so who cares? If we want to get really fancy, we can put underneath here some text or something. So let's head back over here to our form and inside of here, we have this small class. So maybe let's copy this and come back here. And let's see. Let's look at this page again. Maybe down here or maybe underneath the password thing. We can put a link to sign up if we haven't already signed up. Let's, let's try it right here. Uh, so let's go uh, not registered or not a user register here. I don't know. Let's save this, come back here, hit reload. And that's right up against there. I don't know. I don't really like that so much. So let's get rid of that. We don't really even need this small thing. I just thought it might look good. Let's go underneath this button. And let's just go not uh, not registered. Sign up here. Oops. And let's make this a link. Okay, so let's save this and take a look. See how this looks. Okay, that's probably a little better. Maybe we don't need so many line breaks. Maybe we can get rid of one of those, save it. And again, I'm just kind of playing here. Make it look however you want. So 
Um, maybe we could put this up here at the top too, if you like, but whatever you like. So let's head back over to our code and put that link in real quick. And I'm gonna go to my base.html file in my the blog templates directory. So let's find our base file. And let's just come down here and find the link to the register thing. Uh, I can search for it if I want. And here it is, URL register. So let's just copy this and head back to our login page here. And just in this link, we could paste this guy in. So let's save this, head back over, hit reload. Now we click here, it goes to register and we can register. So, okay, and we just did the very basic bootstrap stuff that we always do. Obviously you could style this any way you want. Now you have complete control because you have complete control of the login.html page and you can do anything you want. Just make sure, let's head back over here, make sure that you've got your, uh, let's see, form method post, make sure you have your CSRF token on there. And then below here, probably where the button is, it looks like we don't have it, but you probably wanna close your form tag. I mean, obviously you don't have to, but best practice is to do that and you're good to go. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.